It's time again to have a look at the 90s here on the foot of our stairs with 10 more 90s sitcoms from the UK that you probably forgot about. Number one, The Old Boy Network, ITV, 1992. Peter O'Toole is supposed to have starred in this 90s sitcom about an MI5-type organisation dealing in the world of espionage and skullduggery. The organisation is set up by two retired spies, one-time adversaries, and they go into business together as private investigators of sorts. I don't see O'Toole listed in the cast on Wiki or IMDb, however. Tom Conte may have ended up getting O'Toole's role instead. Must be connected to the and the plug, which is marked with the letter N. Ah! I see Chalky Whitehead died. Oh, where? In the Independent. All coloured red or brown. Very difficult, you see, for a Japanese girl to fit into that sort of lifestyle. And he tried taking her fishing, but she used to eat all his bait. He said something on the phone about a job. I know, he's been frightfully mysterious. We may have to tickle it out. Number two, Trouble in Mind, ITV, 1991. Richard O'Sullivan and Susan Penhaligon starred in this one as Adam and Julia Charlesworth. Adam, a 40-something psychiatrist of moderate success, is dreaming of sailing away to explore the world on his yacht now that the kids have grown up and left home in this predictable midlife crisis comedy. Number three, Lazarus and Dingwall. The lads from the Carling Black Label adverts, Mark Arden and Stephen Frost, take on the roles of a couple of policemen in this sitcom that seems to have been inspired by the sublime daftness of the airplane films or the Naked Gun series, perhaps. The duo work in the really serious crimes squad and are, of course, incompetent to the utmost. I want to see the money. Put the case on the ground. Do it. Now open it and throw a bag over. I think you'll find it a bar now. Get me over! Sorry, I'm late, it's just a. I'll tell you later. Number four, Taking the Floor, 1991. Here's an obscure one from BBC One. I can't say that I remember this and there's no footage for me to check. It's about a couple of ballroom dancers, Brian and Karen, who are a dream team when they're performing, but they absolutely get on each other's nerves when they're off stage. Their respective parents don't make things any better either. Number five, Hope It Rains, ITV, 1991 to 1992. Tom Bell played Harry Nash, owner of a rundown seaside waxworks sort of place, and godfather to an 18 year old girl whose parents meet an untimely demise, so he has to take her in. The two are polar opposite personalities, of course, and the phrase Hope It Rains comes from the fact that when it rains in a seaside resort, all the customers tend to go to the indoor attractions. Next Monday on ITV, Harry's still having trouble with Jace. I mean, how do you come to own someone like this in the first place? It's bizarre. I keep expecting Peter Cushing to pop out from around the corner. <laughs> and it looks like things can only get worse. <laughs> Stone cold. Well, it would be. It's been there since half past seven. I mean, no wonder you behave like an old woman. You are one. You won't mind if I hop in the bathroom. Oh, Hope it rains next Monday at 8. Number six, Joking Apart. Another one about divorce here. You'd have thought we'd have moved on from that since the 80s, wouldn't you? But no, they keep churning them out. Mark and Becky are the couple in question and they are played by Robert Bathurst and Fiona Gillies in this BBC Two sitcom from about 1993-ish, I think. Although, correct me if I'm wrong. Five years into our marriage, my wife told me she had a lover. I was so pleased she'd noticed. <laughs> She said the whole time we'd never actually done one damn thing together and we might as well split up. I said, you first. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was in the shower. Oh, God, sorry, I'm early. No, no, I'm behind. No, no, it's my fault. Look, this is terrible. You haven't even had time to tidy up. Yes, I have. <laughs> you don't think I'm clean enough? 
<laughs> no, no, no. Are you some kind of hygiene nut? No, honestly. No, no, I'm, I'm as big a slob as you are. Number seven, The Good Guys. Nigel Havers starred in this 90s sitcom as Guy McFadden, and Keith Barron joined him too as Guy Lofthouse, the titular Guys, of course. This one ran from 92 to 93 on ITV, and it's probably best placed in the comedy-drama bucket, but nevertheless it was introduced in the press as a sitcom. The two play a sort of vigilante team solving crimes. It wasn't in your best interest. Wouldn't he? Then who's stolen Maud's valuables? I'd like to help if we can. That's the good guys. He could be the police. He must have found out about these letters. And you're going to get them back. But I tell you one thing that is illegal, and that's breaking into other people's flats and stealing things that don't belong to you. Honesty is always the best policy. Ask the good guys. Friday comedy drama at nine on Central. Number 8, Murder Most Horrid, BBC Two, 1991. There was a big deal about this one in the papers due to Dawn French going solo and not having Jennifer Saunders attached to her. Saunders was getting similar attention for penning Absolutely Fabulous as a solo effort around the same time. French plays traffic warden Diane Softly, who is mysteriously promoted overnight to the head of a high-level murder investigation. She soon discovers conspiracies, mass disappearances and links to not only only the Masons, but also Nanny Newman. There's a man in our office across the street, and I have been hired to uh, stop him. Oh, what? The man I came to kill is going to kill me, unless I kill him first, that is. Whatever she comes up with, it'll be quite brilliant. Number nine, An Actor's Life for Me, BBC One, 1991. John Gordon Sinclair plays Robert Wilson, an actor who is convinced he's about to hit the big time any day now. But his long-suffering girlfriend, played by Caroline Quentin and in later series by Gina McKee, is the one keeping his feet on the ground whilst his head is in the clouds. The came next. Oh, watch out. Yes, Desmond. <laughs> In a new biographical play which presents the man he's never been seen before. But not as a white Presbyterian scholar. <laughs> I played Father Christmas in Selfridges. <laughs> a kid set fire to my beard and nearly popped my nose off. All right, all right. But lead to bigger things, old boy. What? <laughs> Better parts. <laughs> Ooh, go on, that's better. <laughs> you shouldn't play a corpse, Robbie. It's too strenuous for you. It's <laughs> cold. At number 10, Screaming, BBC One, 1992. This one's a Carla Lane sitcom about three women who used to go to school together and now find themselves sharing a house. It also transpires that they have previously shared the same man. Gwen Taylor, Penelope Wilton and Jill Baker played the three ladies and Anthony Barclay played Florian, the bloke finding himself between them all. No footage of this one, I'm afraid. Anybody remember it? And there you have it. Ten 90s sitcoms that you probably forgot about. Did I miss any out? You let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff. Bye for now.